Hello everyone, my name is Michael and in today's video we will see how we can use Google Maps Lead Scrapper by Octoparse to scrape results from Google Maps. For example, we will type restaurants in New York. We will get either this keyword or the URL provided to Octoparse and then it will return all the details that you see in this listing right here. So the title, the reviews, the price tag, the type, the address, I mean, anything that you see right here, it will get. And some other details as well. But this time we will be bypassing the limit that Google Maps has when you are searching for leads. For example, if I keep scrolling down, after 120 results that are shown in this page right here, Google will show a message on the bottom that says end of the list. As you will see, it says you've reached the end of the list. But that would mean that I've seen all of the possible results for restaurants in New York, right? Well, that's wrong. There is more than 120 restaurants in New York. So why Google only shows 120 results? Well, that's because if it showed all the restaurants in New York, if you were trying to use the map to locate them, it will have way too many and you will not be able to differentiate them. But for us that we are trying to get some leads, for example, if you are trying to do, I don't know, cold calls or cold emails and you are trying to scrape leads from Google Maps, then this is a great limitation. But Octoparse has created a script or basically they offer a service right here. It will increase the Google Maps limit from 120 results up to 200 or a bit more results per keyword or URL. You can either provide the restaurants as the keyword itself or just take the URL right here and provide that. But if you want to get 1000 results per search, you must use the advanced template they offer, the advanced scrapper, which is this one right here and I'll have a link down in the description as well. And this one uses the automatic zooming algorithm to get up to 1000 results. Now, what is Octoparse you ask? Well, Octoparse is a no-code web scrapping tool that makes data extraction as easy as point and click. It supports templates from various use cases, including social media scrapping, Amazon product data extraction, and yes, also Google Maps scrapping. But of course, Octoparse allows you to create your own custom scrapper. You can design your own scrapper in a workflow designer and get everything visualized in a browser. For example, you can tell it, grab the products from that page and then grab that data and you can just point and click and you'll be able to customize it. They also have AI web scrapping assistant and you can just give it the URL and it will guess what data you want to scrape and then you can make configurations on top of that so it can save you a ton of time. This is very easy for data extraction. It also supports proxies and IP rotation, captcha solving, and all other actions like infinite scrolling, drop downs, hover, like everything you can do with code, you can do it with Octoparse as well. This is why it's great. And again, even if you are not a beginner, if you are tired of writing code, this will save a lot of time. Now this is their pricing page and as you will see, they also offer a free plan, which is great. So you can get started, test their services out. And if you are happy with their services, then you can go ahead and upgrade to a paid plan to get you know, more features. And of course, make sure you use my code 24MK20 to get 20% off of any paid plan you purchase. And make sure you also use the link down in the description to sign up. And yeah, as you'll see, they also offer 16% off for the yearly plans. Now, this might seem expensive, but if you compare it to hiring a web scrapping developer, and to build you a web scrapping tool it will cost a lot more okay so first of all let's check out the url example so in this case we will be providing the url and as you'll see this is a kind of result we can get but yeah let's click try it and let's get this url right here for restaurants in new york so let's say we want to scrape restaurants in new york we will provide the URL here. As you will see, we can provide up to 10,000 URLs, which is, which is very big. 
Now you can also specify the number of pages here, one to 100, provide 100. Now, by the way, another thing I want to mention is that even if you try to use the Google Maps API, first of all, it's quite expensive compared to Octopus. If we scroll, actually it doesn't say it here, but it's around like 35 uh, US dollars or something like that, 25 to 35 US dollars per 1000 uh, results. Whereas the Octopus is only 20 cents per 1000 lines which is like a huge difference but also as you'll see it has a limit like there you go max result count between 1 to 20 results you can get maximum 20 results per search which is even worse than using the google maps here okay so let's click start and as you'll see we have two options with this template you can both run it in the cloud so octopus will run it for you or you can run it with the desktop app we downloaded. Okay, so let's click the cloud first of all, and let's test this out. And there we go, as you'll see, task started. It's running in the cloud, it's not consuming any resources in our system, which is great. Okay, so if we go back on our URL scrapper, as you'll see, we have already surpassed the Google Maps limit for the 120 results limit, which is great. And as you will see, we have already described more than 120 results. And as you'll see, this is the results here. If we go right here, we can click export data. And as you will see, we have a few options to do that. We can either export it as a local file. So either Excel, CSV, HTML, JSON, XML, or Google Sheets format. Or we can connect it to a local database or set up an automatic data export to a local folder. But we'll have to use the Octopus desktop app for that instead. So let's go on the desktop app. Let's click uh, right here, task list. And as you'll see, this is what is running right now. This is the URL scrapper. So let's click all data here. And here's the results. So far we have scraped 220 results. And let's click export data. So we can see the other options as well. Do you have two options here? So either export all data or export unexported data. Again, here we have the local files. And of course we have the, we can export it to a database. So either Google Sheets, SQL Server, MySQL or PostgreSQL. And of course, you can export it to a cloud storage like Google Drive, Dropbox, or Amazon S3. So for example, if you are a team and you want to share the results with your team, then you'll probably use the Google Drive option, for example. But let's click for now CSV. Click Confirm. Save. And there we go. I'll click Open File. And there we go. So as you'll see, this is all the results. It finished scrapping the restaurants example, and as you'll see, we got 240 results, which is almost double the limit that Google Maps has, which is great. And also, it is quite cheap. As you'll see, it's 20 cents per 1,000 lines. So we didn't even spend five cents with this one, and we got quite many results. Okay, so with the keyword one, let's say restaurants in New York. You must specify the location here because there is no other input for the location. So I'm guessing we have to specify it with the keyword itself, like we search for Google Maps right here. Uh, let's do again 100 pages. Let's click start and run with the desktop app. Of course, it will launch the app. It will ask you to log in the first time. But as you will see, even if I click run it with the desktop app it will still run it in the cloud it will not use your device resources which is great and there we go you'll see it is queued and there we go you'll see the keyword scrapper also finished and we got 155 results which is great now of course the result you get depends on the keyword and the location you are searching for the reason we got different results for the url example and the keywords example is because Octopus uses a different proxy each time for scraping. 
So the results will differentiate a bit based on the IP because Google Maps suggest different locations based on your IP as well. Even if we specify the same country on both examples or the same location basically. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my future videos.